and they're off and racing. So a mile and a half in front of the field, they start on the descent towards Swinley Bottom and out wider Testosterone is making her way forward with Memphis, Tennessee. At this stage, there's five or six deep for the lead with a white face of Aiken relatively prominent at this stage in company with Quest for Peace. Dunedin is another who's front rank. So it's Memphis, Tennessee and Testosterone on settling who lead from Quest for Peace. Behind these is Dunedin, yellow colours with the noseband, just ahead of Aiken's white face towards the outside. Fiorenti races in mid-division, as does Sea Moon in the pink cap. Hunter's Light posted a little wide in the blue colours, ahead of the bright green colours of Jackalbury, Allied Powers, Red Caddo, and last of all is Calico Cat. So they've made the descent towards Swinley Bottom, and they'll shortly begin a right-hand turn. And Testosterone, who's crossed right over from the outside stall, leads from Memphis, Tennessee in second. Quest for Peace races third with Fiorenti on the inside of Dunedin and Aiken sitting in sixth on the outside of Sea Moon and Jackalbury. Uh, behind these we have Hunter's Light ahead of Red Caddo. Allied Powers just niggled along for a stride or two. And last of all is Calico Cat as making their way now on the steady climb. They're approaching the halfway stage. Testosterone just trying to stack the field up. Uh, just being held on to out in front. Memphis, Tennessee edges closer as a result. Fiorenti tracks the leaders. So does Dunedin. Out wide is Quest for Peace. Aikens wide on the course. Jackalbury comes next from Sea Moon. And that lean group of about nine are pretty tightly bunched. Hunter's light. Red Caddo has lost ground as they now prepare to take the final half mile. Testosterone leading from Memphis, Tennessee. Up on the outside, Aiken moves past Quest for Peace. Hunter's light follows that one through. Sea Moon tries to do the same. And now Aiken moves right to the leader, Skirths, as Testosterone turns for home. So Testosterone with Aiken poised. Fiorenti's had a nice trip in behind these. Hunter's light in the blue. Sea Moon, the pink cap, Red Caddo, having been outpaced, is now staying on strongly. Dunedin has lost ground as Aiken commits and goes for home. Two furlongs out. And it's Aiken for Will Buick. Ryan Moore on the outside and Sea Moon. And this time, it's Ryan Moore who plays his hand and goes to the front. Sea Moon leads Aiken from back in third place, Jackalby. Then Fiorenti, Red Caddo is still staying on, but Sea Moon has a big lead entering the last. It's four lengths. Red Caddo is running on. Dunedin, having been outpaced, is also flashing home. Got past his old adversary. No way he's getting past Sea Moon, who wins the hard week well for Ryan Moore and Sir Michael Stout. Dunedin second, Red Caddo again one place behind him in third. Aiken next home from Jackalbury. Then Fiorenti, Hunter's Light, Allied Powers. Calico Cat all the way back to Memphis, Tennessee. Well, the real Sea Moon has arrived today. He's the horse that absolutely hacked up in the great voltager at York last summer and then was unlucky in the St. Ledger behind Mars Marvel. He ran a great race in America and he's certainly back and he's a force to be reckoned with. He's beaten Dunedin, the second and third, with a winner in the second in the Melbourne Cup, Dunedin and Red Caddo. It's rock solid form, really good form. Ryan Moore now draws level with William Buick in the uh, Ascot Jockeys title. I'll give you, and I think he, is he level? I think is it four four? Well, I'll check on that. Yeah, it is four four. Four yeah. four. Well, I'll tell you what, but Ryan. That was impressive, wasn't he, it? Bob, you picked him out in running from some way down. He absolutely routed these with a an electric change of gear over a trip that. Well, maybe he is getting a little bit quicker with this, with, with age and racing, because he, he had to work hard at Goodwood on his reappearance. None so today. Just cantered round, and um, what a fantastic way for the, the week to, to continue for Sir Michael Stout, of course, after being a, a real quiet time for the squad. And William Hill has stepped in with a price change in the uh, uh, arc, the arc de triumph. Ten to one, Sea Moon, in from 25 to one. Camelot is their five to two favourites, and Nicholas Abbey is six to one. But uh, Sea Moon.